Well, hello everyone. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Ask a Doc here at HCA Florida North Florida Hospital. We are thrilled to introduce Dr. Yasin Pertani, who is a gastroenterologist here at North Florida Hospital. He's going to talk about endoscopic uh, weight loss procedures that we have here. And we're so excited to talk about it. Thanks for joining us no, today. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I yeah, know you're a busy guy and we no. love it. <laughs> you took some time. Thank you so much. Oh, absolutely, yeah, of course. So we're excited to get started and talk on talking about our topic today, but I just want to go through a, a few pleasantries for everybody before we get started. Yeah, sure. So uh, we're going to do a sound check. Let us know if we sound good in the comments of the live video. Also, if you are here watching us today, go ahead and say hi to us and tell us where you're watching from. We love to see where we get all kinds of viewers. We've had international viewers before. Wow. Like okay. it's been really cool, really cool audience. So thank you guys so much for joining us today. And then also, if you have any questions for Dr. Pratani, now is the time. He is yours for probably the next 15 to 20 minutes. So after he's done talking about our topic, he's going to take some questions from the audience. So go ahead and submit them in the comments of this live feed. I'll be watching that throughout the presentation. Okay, great. Don't feel like you have to hold on to them at the, till the end. I will go ahead and monitor them and ask Dr. Pratani your questions here live on Ask a Doc. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's rock and roll. Let's right. get right into uh, the meat and potatoes of things. Okay. So, Dr. Ratani, just so everybody can get to know you, yeah. tell us a little bit more about you and uh, about you know your qualifications, training, sure, and yeah. how you got started. So, I'm originally from Miami, um, and um, I got accepted to the internal medicine uh, residency here at University of Florida, and that originally got me to come to Gainesville. Mm -hmm. um, so I spent a few years doing residency and then I stayed here for my gastroenterology fellowship and then did another almost two years of uh, fellowship in something called advanced therapeutic endoscopy. So since I moved from Miami to Gainesville and did all my training here, uh, I just decided to stay here. Um, so, uh, so I've been working at Digestive Diseases Associates for the last uh, year and a half now after graduation. Yeah, that's fantastic. We're so excited to have you here. Yeah. You bring a lot of advanced procedures to us, and right. that is so beneficial to our patients. So thank you so much. I appreciate We're that, yeah. Happy privileged to, to have you here. Um, so tell us a little bit more. Let's go ahead and talk about a little bit about what you do before we get into the topic. Um, tell us about what you do in gastroenterology with some of your offerings and services here. Sure. So, you know, as a gastroenterologist, I see a lot of patients who have various gastrointestinal symptoms or diseases, and we can treat that either with medical management or uh, endoscopic therapy. Um, so that's that's a little bit of kind of what I do. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. I've, I've watched your pr uh, procedure yeah. last week, and it was just so neat to oh, yeah. kind of see you in action with the scopes and everything. Just very, very interesting technology, yeah. which we're about to talk about. Okay. So um, before we do so, I just wanted to say thanks for everybody who watch who's watching today. We have some great viewership today. This is great. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hi, Betty. She's watching from Gainesville. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, tell us a little bit more, Dr. Bertani, about some of the procedures we're now offering right. uh, for endoscopic weight loss. All right. How yeah. cool is this? Yeah, it is very cool and it's very exciting. Um, it's kind of the new kid on the block. So we have two <laughs> uh, you know, procedures that we offer now. One is called an endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty, or ESG for short. Okay. Uh, and the other one is for patients who've had a history of gastric bypass and subsequently had uh, weight regain. regain. So that procedure is called a transoral outlet reduction. Okay. So those are two separate procedures we do for two distinct patient populations. So, and when we talk about these today, when we talk about them being uh, done endoscopically, we're talking about something that is doesn't involve surgery. Is that correct? Right. It's totally incisionless. It everything is through the mouth, um, and we'll get more into the meat and potatoes. But uh, it's a same day procedure. Uh, patients go home the same day. Um, and back to work in the next you know, three or four days after that. That is that is pretty game changing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit more about the ESG procedure, which is that endos endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty. Yeah, so endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty was kind of, it started to take off around 2013. And the reason it was developed because there was such a void in bariatric medicine for patients who needed a, a procedure but wanted a minimally invasive approach and you know this is supported by a large um, uh, population study showing that there's over a hundred million people in the United States that are considered to be obese mm -hmm. 
And if you look at the numbers, only about 0.25% of those patients actually uh, choose to undergo bariatric procedures. So why is that? Why are we missing this large population of patients who need a procedure to help them lose weight? Well, it's kind of scary, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is very scary. So incomes, well actually, the reason is because they're afraid, the most common cited reason is that they're afraid of a complication from surgery. Right. Or they're afraid from dying from surgery. Mm -hmm. So incomes endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty that gives people an option to do everything through the mouth without an incision. So essentially what it does is that we go in through the stomach and we have a suturing device uh, at the tip of the camera and we're allowed to place uh, several sutures in a certain way to reduce the volume of the stomach to up to about 70%. Wow. This procedure kind of emulates the sleeve gastrectomy where a sleeve gastrectomy is a surgical procedure where you take out a large portion of the stomach. This we don't take out any tissue but we reduce it to the same size that you would have had with a sleeve gastrectomy. So um, since 2013, there's been tens of thousands of patients who've had success successfulness with this procedure. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. I'm so glad that it's not, because it's like brand spanking new to yeah. HC of Florida North Florida Hospital. That's yeah. really exciting. So tell us a little bit more about this, this um, do you pronounce it TOR procedure? Yeah, the trans uh, oral outlet reduction. Okay, so tell us more, like what's the difference between the two? Yeah, so for one, you have to have had a gastric bypass procedure before. And what happens is when you have a gastric bypass procedure, your stomach is made smaller by the surgeon. Mm -hmm. And it's connected to a different portion of your small intestine. And that connection between your stomach and your small intestine is called an outlet or an anastomosis. Over time, that, that connection can stretch and grow bigger. And as that connection stretches and that stomach pouch that was originally very small grows to be larger, you get significant weight regain. So traditionally, uh, what uh, patients have gone through is a surgical revision. Uh, but that's been shown to be associated with significant morbidity and, 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 and uh, you know, a decent size complication risk. Because uh, of surgery, right? right? Surgery comes with that risk. Right. So. Around the same time that endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty was being developed, this was taken off as well because we saw that not, not only can we do uh, uh, endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty, but we can also place sutures to narrow the, um, the stoma or the anastomosis between the stomach and the small intestine to bring it back to the original size it was uh, at the time of their original surgery. Wow. And what they've shown is that patients have significant weight loss uh, after that procedure. Fantastic. Well, that's so cool to learn that we're doing this here. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more, you know, we've t thrown the word around, you know, non-invasive, minimally invasive. What does that mean? How does right. that translate to someone like me? Yeah. You know, so I would so probably stick with, uh, you know, when I tell patients, I tell them that it's minimally invasive. When you okay. compare it to the surgical counterpart, um, the reason it's minimally invasive is that there's no incision that we're making. There's no operation. Um, you're, we're essentially doing everything through the mouth. Um, your parts are going to be intact when you're done with the procedure. You're not missing anything. We're just making things smaller right. um, through endoscopy. Yeah, very, very cool. Yeah. Um, so, what, who qualifies for these types of procedures? Can you talk about that? Yeah, definitely. So, for the endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty, it's for patients who've ha not had any major gastric surgery in the past. All right, so you're, you're looking at patients who've had, you know, have a, a typically normal anatomy, um, and patients who are over a BMI of 30, okay. who've tried traditional weight loss methods uh, like diet and exercise and haven't been able to sustain uh, weight loss for those things, mm -hmm. and for patients who don't want to have a surgical bariatric procedure. Okay, very interesting. So. What is the, is there like a difference in weight loss potential between the surgical option and then this new endoscopic, yeah. scopic option? So there have been several head-to-head -head trials comparing endoscopic bariatric therapies with surgical therapies. And although endoscopic therapies come near to that number of, of patients having surgery, they, they do not quite meet it or surpass it. But you're still going to lose a substantial amount of weight. Mm -hmm. And what you're trading in uh, is really the low complication risk that's offered with the endoscopic therapy. Absolutely. Yeah. So 
What are some of those side effects? Are, are there any? Yeah, I, I mean, the side effects are, are low and mild, I would say. Uh, they, you will typically, after the procedure, feel, uh, you'll, you may feel, have a little bit of a sore throat, you may have a little bit of a bellyache, uh, and that's usually from uh, air trapping in the stomach after we reduce the size of the stomach. Okay. You may have nausea, but all these are really well managed with the medications that we give you after the procedure, and they typically last only about two to three days. And after that, patients are usually back to work and they feel fine. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. I love that. I love to see these questions coming in, guys. Thanks so much for submitting your questions for Dr. Bertani. Uh, we're actually going to be answering them here in a few minutes. Sure. So I love to see all these questions. Go ahead and keep sending them in. Uh, we're going to be answering them live here on Ask a Doc. So tell us a little bit more about Dr. Bertani um, insurance. That's a huge question for uh, patients undergoing these types of procedures. What can you tell us? So at this time, because there's no actual procedure code for the endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty, it is not covered by insurance, unlike other uh, weight loss procedures like the sleeve gastrectomy or the wound wide gastric bypass, where some insurances will cover it. At this time, uh, it is not covered by insurance. But as a GI community, these, these are things and topics that we are working on to get reimbursed in the future, but at this point, it's just not covered. Yeah. So um, what kind of prices are we talking about with these types of procedures? So they're, they're less than the traditional surgeries that uh, y y you, know, you will see, but for actual specifics on the numbers, because it'll, it'll vary, uh, I would actually call our metabolic and weight loss surgery program here in North Florida to get the actual number. Yeah, and you can find uh, all of that information on our website, which is great, yeah. uh, hcfloridahealthcare.com. Um, and so, you know, if someone is interested in learning more, you know, how do they, what's the starting point? How do they get started? So I think, first off, you, you would probably be best suited if you would contact our metabolic and weight loss surgery program here in North Florida. And the phone number is 352-331-5255, or you can visit uh, our website at northfloridaweightloss.com. Yeah, that's, that's great uh, information. Why would you tell someone that they should choose us for this? Well, it's easy. Uh, for one, this is a, a comprehensive center for bariatric surgery, meaning that you're working with a team rather than just working with one physician. You yeah. have nurses in bariatric medicine that have been here for years. I'm talking about decades of experience. You have dietitians that know exactly what you need and when you need it. Mm -hmm. um, and follow up on that, we're a bariatric center of excellence here. So to keep that criteria, you know, we, we have to make sure we do a really good job. Um, so for all those reasons, I think it's it's important, you know, we're a great center to have it done it, but anywhere you go, make sure you, you go to a multidisciplinary approach because that's that's where you see the long-term benefits of, of bariatric procedures uh, play in. Uh, you know, you have a dedicated dietitian, a dedicated nurse, and a doctor um, that's all been um, in the system for a while and it'll help you through a process, not only before but afterwards as well. Super support system here. So. Just really proud of our program, yeah. just fantastic. So I am very eager, I don't know about you, Dr. Bertani, I am ready to get to these questions. Yeah, you? You got, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and get to the, to the good part, guys. Go ahead and su uh, submit your questions for Dr. Bertani. Here on Ask a Doc, we're talking about endoscopic, endoscopic, I like to say that word, <laughs> uh, endoscopic weight loss procedures today. So if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and submit them in the comments now, because we're taking your questions right now. All right, so we have our first question is from Betty. And so Betty says, Dr. Bertani, will you be offering anything for individuals who have regained weight post-sleeve like you do for the TOR procedure? Actually, we didn't mention it here, but we actually do. Yeah. Um, so when patients uh, have a sleeve gastrectomy, sometimes the lumen of the stomach can dilate as well, and we can place uh, several sutures endoscopically to reinforce that sleeve gastrectomy. And there have been several studies that show that that works very well and patients have had a, a lot of good success with weight loss with that. So yes, I didn't mention it here, but yes, we do. That's awesome, great. Yep. That's Well, thank you so much, Betty, for asking that question. That was perfect timing. Yep. All right, so Kelly, Kelly is a, a good friend of mine. This is okay. awesome. Kelly has a good question. She says, Dr. Bratani, is this procedure only for individuals that are greatly obese or someone who's mildly obese? Who do you think is a good candidate for this? I think anybody with a, a BMI of 30 or above is a good candidate for it. And I think it just starts with the conversation. So if you're wondering what is the best procedure for me, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be or need to be an endoscopic therapy. 
you know, uh, it could be a gastric bypass or a sleep gastrectomy. And that's why I would encourage you to, to contact our office because we can walk you through the process and tell you the pros and cons of both uh, procedures or surgeries and give you, you know, everything on the table for you so you can make a decision wisely. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Well, Kelly, thank you for that question. That's fantastic. If you guys have any questions, we're taking, this is the last call for questions for Dr. Bertani. He is a gastroenterologist here at HCA Florida, North Florida Hospital, and we're talking about endoscopic weight loss procedures today. So go ahead and submit your questions for him right now. This is the last call for questions. All right, so another question's come up in the, in the feed here. This is awesome. Gave a last call, people respond. This is great. <laughs> All right, so another question in here is, Dr. Rutani, will uh, this procedure impact my diabetes? Yeah, in a positive way. Okay, so yeah, tell us patient, more. Patients have been shown uh, to lower their A1C uh, with this procedure. Wow. So, and not only their A1C will get better, but their lipid profile will get better as well. And all these decrease the risk of having significant cardiovascular uh, events later on in life, like stroke or heart attacks. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it definitely plays a role not only physically, you know, you'll look better, but you'll feel better and you'll actually be better yeah. um, as well. That's awesome. So, yeah. tons of health benefits yeah. from this. That's great. Great point. Thank you so much for your question, guys. All right, last call for questions, everybody. So, um, you know, this is a commonly asked question that you get from your patients. Uh, Dr. Bertani, is this procedure permanent? Yeah. What's your answer to that? So, you know, these sutures that we place in the stomach are non-absorbable. So they, they're going to last a lifetime. Wow. So we don't intend that things will get worse or your stomach will, will dilate later on or that this is just a quick fix. This is, for all intents and purposes, this is a permanent procedure. Wow, that's yeah. great. That's great to know. All right, I don't think I have any more. I don't see any more questions here. Ooh, I do have another question here. This person says, um, I have a fatty liver. Is that a contradiction for the surgery? Absolutely not. It's actually an indication because what we see is that if you lose about 10% of your body weight, you can have significant reversal of your fatty liver disease. Um, and this procedure can help. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, this is great. Thank you guys so much for your questions today. I love to see the engagement here on Ask a Doc today. So just to kind of wrap it up, um, I just wanted to ask you, um, what is this? What are these? What does these procedures mean to you? I mean, this is something you've dedicated your life to, to see people to do be able to perform this procedure and to see it change people's lives. What does that mean to you? I mean, it means a lot. I mean, I, I, it's a privilege to be in a position that I'm in to to have the opportunity to give people an option. And I think that's what it is. They, they want an option. They, they want to see what's available and they want to pick and choose. And, and, and now we're able to give them all the options that are not, you know, they're available all throughout the country here uh, in North Florida. Yeah. So it's, a, it's actually a, a privilege. It's fantastic. Dr. Batani, it's been a pleasure to have you on Ask Doc yeah. today. Yeah. This is awesome. Great information. I hope you guys enjoyed all the information today as much as I did. I learned a lot. So yeah. we'll have to have you on again. Yeah, Please definitely. come on again. Absolutely, that would be yeah. great. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, this is it for this Ask a Doc today. We will see you for another Ask a Doc here at HCA Florida North Florida Hospital soon. Thanks so much. Thanks.